Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So in this lecture, we're going to see some of the routines related to NumPy arrays. Okay, so to for 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 the following array creation routines uh, or using some low level, we can create and uh, so the first question maybe you might ask that uh, if we want to create an empty ND array, okay, if we want to create an empty NumPy array, so how we can do that? So there is an another attribute that is provided which is maybe you can think about it as a routine so that is named as empty okay so what what empty does is let's do it by writing here so we get our empty function okay uh, sorry about my writing okay so empty so we do have our shape we can define the shape of uh, this empty and array okay so we have our shape then we can define its d type so what kind of the uh, what what type of object will it store okay maybe the empty type it's an empty and array but what's going to be stored okay what kind of the object is going to be stored and we can also define an order okay so i will explain you what this order is okay most of the people don't know about this thing okay so we can use something like c here or we can use a capital f okay and i will tell you what these things are so in computer in in our in in our machine sorry about my writing actually writing using a mouse <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry about that but uh, come to the point what this order here means actually the array in in computer is stored basically using of uh, in basically two fashions if i say it's uh, first is the row major and uh, second is the column major type okay so the row major is basically a c style how a c language actually creates the array and stores the element inside it is according to the row major okay and uh, i will explain this thing in in the article because they are not relative here but uh, i am going to tell you what order is okay and uh, fortran the fortran programming language using uh, use this style uh, in column major okay so that's what order is okay basically that's what order is in 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 this empty function so how do you want to create this empty array and uh, how you want to store the elements in either a c fashion order or in fortran fashion order so uh, now you are understanding that numpy provides a lot of power to to the programmer okay and uh, so let us create our very first empty array here so to do that let me say x and uh, what the next is np the module name dot the empty function okay so empty here then afterwards defining the size so you can define either a if i say uh, one dimension array two dimension array or three cross two matrix or two cross three two cross five anything that you want to so i'm going to define uh two cross three okay so two comma three so two rows and three columns here and uh, let me define the d type here and uh, let the d type to be integers okay and uh, let me print this array if i could print directly here okay Mm, let me use the print function for I think that will be much better. Uh, I don't think so Yeah, it is <laughs> now it's uh, actually in the What I want to say in the uh, user-friendly format print actually uses that and if I don't use print here Actually, it echoes directly. Okay, so that's the difference between print and echo now you can see it is uh, actually much more nearer to one or uh, maybe these are some random values that are stored here if i do this run again it will put something like that if i do this again it will put something like that okay so it goes on it changes because it creates an empty array it's all depend what comes next okay but print actually is a kind uh, actually prints the output in user-friendly fashion so that's how you can create an empty array in, in 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 numpy so how about creating an array only of zeros okay so how you can do that so the rest of things are the same but the name of the function will be changed here so let me do this uh, zeros okay 
zeros here then define it define its size but uh, if you want to create actually if you if you want to create a single or uh, one dimensional rail so let's do something like that and uh, let me print here um okay mm, what zeros one second uh, oh <laughs> i just forget the name of the module okay uh, okay so that's it uh, that actually it created an array of zeros now in much user-friendly fashion okay so if i don't use this thing okay so it shows the array it actually is in the what i say the echo part that actually that the actual output but for users for better readability the print actually removes much much irrelevant things from the output okay and uh, if you want to use uh, something called uh, how, how so if you want to create us here actually uh, one thing is to be noticed that it created it into floating points okay there are dots outside it afterwards it but if you want to create it into ends so how you can do that okay so for do that you have to convert this five into a singleton tuple okay a singleton tuple that consists only of one element so we have created this five into a singleton tuple and uh, let us define our d type to it and uh, let the d type to be int okay and we don't int and let's run this okay so now they are zeros of integers and uh, let's uh, do something called so let's check out the item size okay so i'm going to check this with x dot item size eight now eight bytes okay if you want to create this for one byte if you want it should store one byte only so now one byte okay so we created it into a eight bit eight bit types of these element created okay so that's how you can use these things simultaneously for better understanding of the of the things so what if we want to create the f create uh, actually uh, an array of ones okay so that's as an exercise here just pause the video and do it yourself if you want to create the arrays of ones okay so just go with it ah so you're back so you created successfully your array of ones okay so that's what this lecture for that's uh, i think i believe that's more for for here okay and uh, in the next lecture uh, we will see to form an array from from our existing data okay if, if you want to create an array from our existing data how you how we can create that okay and we're going to see that in the next lecture so as always thanks for watching bye